Senator Walsh, you're going to have to come with us. Senator Walsh, please remain calm. Parker, I think he's choking or having a seizure. Wait, the antidote. What if he was poisoned too? But this doesn't make any sense. The Senator's watch and the text messages. It would have all fitted perfectly. Well, unless he poisoned himself, I don't think he's our killer. His pulse is strong. He's unconscious, but alive. I'm curious what he'll say when he wakes up. Well, let's kill some time investigating until he comes around. So, about those t-shirts you were going to get printed for me? You know, the ones that say, I told you so, on them. Yeah, yeah. If Walsh is one of the victims, he's probably not the killer. Maybe I shouldn't have assumed he was guilty just yet. The plot thickens again. Is every case like this? I hope not. I can't believe we still don't have our poisoner. I guess we'd better find out what the senator was drinking an hour ago. Excuse me, are you Senator Walsh's wife? Are you from the police? Do you know what happened? Is he going to be okay? It's okay, ma'am. Everything is under control. I gave Senator Walsh the antidote. He should be just fine. Yeah, if Stella... He'll be just fine. You're Mrs. Walsh, right? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm just so flustered. It's all going to be okay, ma'am. We'd just like to know what he's been drinking tonight. Can you remember exactly what he was drinking one hour ago? Well, sure. The same whiskey as everybody else. The same whiskey that's in this glass right now? Yes, I think so. Listen up. This is the police. Anyone drinking whiskey, please stop drinking immediately. Not a good way to make friends at an Irish pub. If you have whiskey in your glass, please bring it up to the bar right now. I repeat, do not drink it. Aha! I've got it. Lane, what's different about the senator's glass? I'm not sure. The suspect could have lined the rim of the glass with poison. True, but I was thinking something simpler. The ice. You're right. That's a nice catch, Parker. Exactly. Bartender, did you serve this whiskey with ice? Never. That would be uncivilized. That's right. Colin never puts ice in his whiskey. Something about being a real man. Men are pretty stupid, aren't they? Just wait until you're married. They get even worse. That's a terrifying thought. So, about the ice, if he doesn't normally use it... Our poisoner must have slipped some poisoned ice into the whiskey. Very sneaky. That means he or she was here, close by, just an hour ago. Let's take a look around. Parker, come over here for a second. Look familiar? Yeah. Looks like it came straight from Madsen's secret laboratory. You know, calling it Madsen's secret laboratory makes it sound kind of cool. I think I want a secret laboratory. Let's catch this murderer before you get started on that terrible idea. Right. Give me a sec and I'll crack open this barrel. We should have known. This killer has a serious ego. Or a serious chip on their shoulder. We'd better be careful. Is this blood? Looks like it. It seems out of place. All the other crimes so far have been bloodless. True. 
We'll need to test it at the lab and figure out who it came from. Making excuses to visit your girlfriend, Lane? I don't do girlfriends, Parker. Well, aren't you a tough guy? What do you do then? I'm not going to discuss my love life with you, Parker. Oh? And why not, Victor? I think there are a couple of sets of fingerprints on here, too. I want you and your partner to take this to Stella. I'll text her the images, but we'll want the physical copies too, just in case. Yes, detective ma'am. Hey, these whiskeys aren't poisoned, right? It's like you're reading my mind. Hey, you two, get out of here. Senator. Looks like you had a rough first day in office. Senator Walsh, I'm Detective Parker, and this is Victor Lane. What... what happened? Did I pass out? Not quite. We believe you were poisoned. Parker and I have been investigating the case, and had an antidote handy. You're incredibly lucky, Senator Walsh. Ugh. I don't feel lucky. We're going to need to ask you some questions. Yeah, yeah, okay. What were you doing at Vicky McDermott's house? Veronica who? Sorry, I don't think I know. Sure about that? Lying might not be your best plan here. Oh no, Colin, tell me you didn't. I, I, I need a minute, I'm sorry. You're the last person to see Vicki McDermott before her death. That makes you the prime suspect. This day just keeps getting better. I could use another whiskey, poisoned or not. Walsh, you'd better start talking. I guess I'd better come clean. I was sleeping with Vicki. Yeah, we gathered that much, Senator. What about the pills? The pills? What pills? You can't play a player, Walsh. Don't lie to me again. You have a good eye, Mr. Lane. I expect you're quite good at your job. Here's what happened. Vicky's brother, Logan, knew about me and Vicky. He saw it as an opportunity. Him and some crazy pharmacist, Madison or something, were cooking up a new drug, and he wanted my contacts to help distribute it. And you provided them? Of course not. I refused. I'm not a criminal. I'm a victim here. Maybe, maybe not. I think you're going to have to come with us, Senator. Come with you where? To the station. We've got questions, and you'd better have answers. Come on, Senator. Parker. What? No. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Wait, what? What happened, Parker? It's my dad. He's had a heart attack. But what about me? Shut up, Walsh. Is your dad going to be okay, Parker? No, he's, he's dead. He's dead, Lane. He died.
Let's drink. Scotch? It just can't be real. I only just saw him, and I was awful to him. He was proud of you, Parker. I could tell by the way he looked at you. I should have been nicer. I should have told him I loved him, and now it's too late. He always inspired me, always believed in me. He always put me first. And now it's too late to say thank you. It doesn't matter what you said or what you didn't say. You don't thank someone with words. You thank them with your actions. You're right. Thanks, Lane. Victor. Thanks, Victor. You're a good detective, Parker. Lily. Lily? He raised you well. To good fathers. Listen, why don't you take my bed? I'll crash on the couch. I couldn't. I don't want to inconvenience you. Thanks, Victor. Parker. The Sleeping Beauty. She'd break my arm if she heard me say that. Detective Parker is sleeping, so be nice and quiet, honey. The babysitter will be over in just a few minutes. Be good, okay? Uh-oh. I know that smile. Oh, my head. Well, good morning, you. What's your name? Guess. I'll give you a hint. It's a flower. Rose? Prettier. Maybe you're a daisy. What's your name? Are you Daddy's new girlfriend? No, we just work together. And my name is a flower, too. Oh, I like sunflowers and tulips and... And... Well, I'm Lily. It's nice to meet you, Daisy. Does your daddy have a lot of girlfriends, Daisy? No. Daddy says girlfriends are trouble. But I like when he has friends over. How old are you, Daisy? Five years old, huh? You'll be all grown up in no time. Why does Lane have a picture of Justin? He said he didn't know him. Lane lied to me, right to my face. I should never have trusted him. Lane, we need to talk. Hey, Parker. Good morning. Coffee? Black, if I recall. You lied to me, Lane. You knew Justin Hall, and you lied to me about it. Hold up, Parker. Take it easy. After everything we've been through, I was just starting to think I could. It doesn't matter. Lane, you'd better answer my questions, honestly this time. How did you know Justin Hall? He was a client once, over five years ago now. So why did you lie, Lane? Another one of your clients dead, and you try to cover it up? That's unfair, Parker. I'm not trying to cover anything up. I just didn't want to talk about it. It was ages ago, and... And what? It was the only case I ever lost. It was a difficult time for me. A difficult time? That's your excuse for lying to me? I don't believe you, Lane. Lily, listen. It's Detective Parker to you. Parker, listen to me. You don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly well. I never should have trusted you. Parker, we need to put this behind us. I didn't do anything wrong. You lied to me, Lane. I can't just let that go. What the heck is going on over here? I'm tired of listening to you shouting, Parker. Lane lied to me about a previous client, a client who ended up crushed beneath a shipping crate. 
And this is related to your case? Lane represented Theo Madsen, Logan McDermott, and Justin Hall. Senator Walsh owns the shipyard we found Justin at, giving him a connection to yet another victim. This is all getting blown out of proportion. It's all connected, and Victor Lane is officially a suspect. He can't be involved in the investigation anymore. Fine. Lane, you're off the case. Parker, you should take some time off too. Take some time to think about your father. No. I'm going to do what he would have done. I'm going to solve this case. How is Justin connected to all of this? First, we find Justin's body, or half of it anyway, with a tattoo. Justin was accused of drug trafficking. Then, soon to be Senator Colin Walsh, gets me pulled off the case. I find out later that Logan McDermott and Theo Madsen were blackmailing Senator Walsh. Logan and Theo are killed shortly after, alongside Logan's sister, all poisoned by our mysterious killer. We barely made it in time to save Senator Walsh from the same fate. And to top it all off, Victor Lane has represented Theo, Justin, and Logan at one time or another. Could this case get any more confusing? I need some hard evidence, and fast. I need Stella. Oh, Parker, I'm so sorry, love. Thanks, Stella. It's, I'm okay, I think. I think I'm okay. Of course you're not okay. Don't be ridiculous. What are you doing here anyway? Go home. Be with your family. I need to finish this. I need to close this case. Seriously, Lily? You need to take some time off. You need to grieve. I know what I need to do, Stella. Actually, I have a favor. Anything. I need a test run on that barrel we found at the pub. Both blood samples and fingerprints. Lily, come on. Take a break, please. I'm asking you a favor, Stella. Please? All right, fine. I'll get to work. Thanks, Stella. I'm going to keep digging. Find out what really happened with Justin Hall. There you are. I've got some interesting results for you. Fire away. The blood on that barrel is a match for Justin Hall, and the fingerprints fit one of your victims, Logan McDermott. I think Logan may have killed Justin. That's definitely possible, based on this data. I've been doing some reading on Justin Hall and Walsh's shipyard. Find anything interesting? Walsh's shipyard was under investigation five years ago, and Walsh was taking a lot of heat. My father was one of the officers looking into that case before he retired. What happened? Why did the investigation stop? That's where it gets fishy. They pinned it all on Justin Hall somehow. Seems unlikely. The truck driver was the mastermind of the whole operation? It all leads me right back to Victor Lane and the case he lied to me about. Just go easy on him, Parker. He's a good man. We'll see about that. Here we go. Victor Lane's records, including a file on Justin Hall. What a strange case. There's hardly any evidence here against Hall. How did he end up in jail? What's this? A medical record for Rose Lane, who died in childbirth. Daisy is five years old. So Lane was working on Justin's case when his wife died. He said it was a difficult time for him, the only case he ever lost. This is what he was talking about, not losing the case, but losing his wife. 
Oh, Lane, why didn't you just tell me? Parker, you doing okay? No, not really. Did you know about Lane's wife? No. I've met Daisy, but I didn't want to pry into his business. Why? Is he still married? Oh, no. Nothing like that. His wife died in childbirth five years ago, during Justin Hall's case. I had no idea, but it does explain a lot. He's charming, but distant. Emotionally, I mean. He's charismatic, but careful. He never talks about his personal life. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have exploded at him. Well, you're having a pretty rough week, Parker. I need to make things right. I need to go get my partner. Daisy, are you okay? Where's your daddy? Hi, Lily. Daddy's gone. No. Daisy, did your daddy say where he was going? He said he solved the mystery and he had to, um, make things right again. This is all my fault. I've got to find him before it's too late.